Please wait here. I'll go get it. Lukaku's father comes back in about 10 minutes. His face is bright red and is carrying a large cardboard box. His gait is fairly unsteady. I wonder if he'll be okay. Mm. <sighs> uh, it's harder to give you gout. I think this is what you're looking for. Lucas' dad places a box on the ground and takes a deep breath as he rubs his back. Was it heavy? I thank you and take a look inside. An IBM 5100. Inside is a simple computer with an integrated monitor, and the monitor is only about as big as a GPS screen. I compare it to the IBM 5100 image I got from Shining Finger. They look very similar. Ah, look, look at this. Lukaku points with a logo between a tape drive and a monitor. It says, IBM 5100 portable computer. <laughs> portable. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I've sold a Kiba's. So I couldn't, um... I couldn't talk over his um, laugh. Finally, I've sold Akiba's Urban Legend. This is a phantom PC of Akihabara. It's in excellent condition. There's only a thin layer of dust on it. But it looks like it. We'll need to plug it in to see if it works. Now, the problem is whether Lukaku's father would lend it to me. Urushibarashi. I'll be blunt. May I borrow his computer? Sure. Seriously? Is it okay for priests to lend property out like that? Items which are donated to a shrine? I've never heard of anything like that. That's why I was expecting him to refuse. When this was entrusted to us, the owner said this. If a young man ever appears and says that he needs this computer, no matter what, please lend it to him with my blessings. That's too suspicious. I didn't think it would actually happen, though, to be honest. I've forgotten about it entirely until you reminded me. I'm happy to lend it to you, Hoenkun, but please be sure to return it when you're done, okay? Of course. Thank you. Although I do have a feeling we may be returning it to him about nine years ago. I bow deeply, but in my heart I'm grinning like a madman. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Things are going better than I anticipated. It's almost like everything is being handed to me on a silver platter. Now certain secrets will be laid bare. We can expose their wicked research and possibly even gather hints of a creation of time machine. And then I can complete my first time hit machine in human history. Now I just have to get the IBM 5100 back to the lab. But unfortunately I don't have a car to transport it in. In fact, I don't even have a license. Same goes for my assistant. Can't Americans start driving at 16? How come we don't have a license? Can't something wrong with that. I spend all my time doing research. You're wasting your youth. I thought so too, until I met you. Now I realise I'm just doing just fine. Touché. Um, no fighting, please. Lukaku is flustered us again. You're a lifesaver, Lukaku. Thank your father again for me. Because Dad has been already returned to his shrine office. Mikako nods. Your father's a lovely man. Uh, Mikako and I freeze at my sister's nonchalant words.
Oh, that's what's 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 that's I won't give up my father. Please don't cry. I, I just meant I was jealous of how well you get along with your father, that's all. Ah, ah, ah. Of course, I'm, I'm sorry for a weird misunderstanding. Um, that was rude of me. Don't cry, we've resolved misunderstanding. It's okay. But in the depths of your heart life feelings for Luca's father die. Christina turns away. I decide to leave it at that, and angering her any further could lead to violence. Lukako, don't forget your practice rings of Samidare. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best. Um, El Psy Kungali. It's kangaroo. Don't forget it. I'm I'm sorry. What kind of low life tease is a girl? <laughs> you finally said it, haven't you? I wouldn't know. Lukaku is a guy. I ignore Christine and lift up a box of the IBM 5100 inside. Ugh, damn, it's heavy. I can barely get off the ground. I'll put it down for now. Now I know why Luca's dad was red in my face when he brought this thing in. Is it really that heavy? Pathetic. It's only as big as a CRT monitor. And why don't you try carrying it? Then you'll understand. Chris Ustaz grabs both ends of a cardboard box and lifts. She strains all on my but gives up without lifting even a centimetre. It's really heavy. She blushes slightly but maintains her usual frown. My assistant seems to be have a strong competitive spirit. This thing's gotta weigh like 30 kilos. Maybe we should borrow a push cart. Ushibahara san, is there one of the shrine? Um, there is, but it's, it's broken, I'm sorry. Uh, is there any other place we could borrow? No. We don't need a push cart. Then how are you going to bring it back? It takes about 10 minutes to walk to, to your rundown lab from here. It may be too heavy for one person, but it's different story for two. You and I just need to carry it together. Why else do you think I made you my assistant? Ah, so that's why. Because you're a wimp. Well, if we carry it together, we might be able to manage, but... I refuse. Huh? I said no! I'm pretty sure you said, but I refuse. Shut up! I, I said no! 
but I refuse as a famous manga quote. Could Kurisu be an at Chandler? The whole reason he made me lab man was to borrow my knowledge. From this, it's elementary to divide the following. I won't do physical labor. I see. But I guess I have no choice. I'll do my best to carry it, but... I glance at Lukako. He twitches and notices my look. Then Timothy raises his hands with tears in his eyes. Um, then I will. Uh, you're gonna help? Will you be okay? Yep. I'll, I'll do my best. Now, look at I shouldn't make you help me. I can manage it by myself. But we're friends, Akabe san. I want to help you. No, I'll do it myself. I'll help you! Then, um, me too. Please, go ahead. Huh? What? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Don't you know, Christina? This is what you call a Japanese gag. You sneaky. Thanks for backup, Lukako. Now that's settled, my sister will help me carry a computer. So you don't have to help. Thank you very much for your offer. Ah, okay. If, if that's how it is, then. Now, assistant, since you volunteered, I won't let you refuse. Now grab hold and heave. Okay, fine. Chris and I both lift up a cardboard box. The burden is considerably easier when distributed between two people. Why do we have to be face to face? We're positioned so we're looking at each other. There's no other way to hold it, so what can you do? Let's just go. I'll start to walk out the shrine. Hey, stop, stop, stop! I, I, I said stop! You're a noisy one. Don't walk forwards, I have to walk backwards. Let's walk sideways. Whatever, get moving, assistant. Hey, listen, please, just listen. I just can't walk backwards. Of course you can, you're my assistant. I appreciate your vote of confidence, but I can't. I'm asking you to go sideways. No, I'm telling you to go sideways. Sideways, I'm gonna fall. It's dark by the time we get back to a lab. It's normally less than a 15 minute walk, but since Kurisu kept begging to take breaks, it ended up taking twice as long. <sighs> we finally made it. I'm exhausted. If you didn't complain so much about every little thing, we wouldn't have got this sooner. Oh, I see bike girls back. Right back at you. You stopped to take a break at least five times along the way. That's because I wasn't feeling well. Are you okay? It's just... Occasionally, my right arm aches, and when it does, dark destructive impulses come over from my soul. Shut up, or terror peripheral nerves out of that arm. Holy crap, there's something wrong with this girl. Without my nerves? That's like something from last year's new gen incidents. Okay, I'll shut up. Let's bring the 5100 into the lab. Final barrier awaits. We have to ascend this rickety building's narrow staircase. Shouldn't you get your friends to help? You're right. I'll take the window. The lab's lights are on. Huh? 
part-time warrior comes out from a born tube workshop with perfect timing. Isn't Okabe Rinto? What you got there? <laughs> you want to know? Then I'll tell you. Wait! Just gonna sound and talk. Well, should we put a box down first? Yeah, actually, wait. This will only take a second. Well, what is it? What if I told you it's an IBN 5100? No way, you found it? Wow, way to go, Okabe Wentoa. I wish you'd stop calling my, me my, by my full name. She's gonna do that, she could at least call me Hoen Kyoma. Where was it? Oh, it's heavy. Creature starts giving in. I'm about at my limit as well. Let's put it down. Creature and I place on the ground gently so as not to damage the contents. <sighs> so, where was it? Yanabayashi Shrine. Yanabayashi Shrine? You mean like a Shinto Shrine? Yeah. Why was it there? And suddenly, Suzuha looks at Kurisu. Huh? Well, she gasps and approaches Kurisu until they're close enough to feel each other's breath. That's boring. She's got a serious look on her face, and she's probably a bit strong enough to kill anyone, to be honest. She is most likely to kill people in this uh, series, I'm pretty sure. Let's hope not. We'll find out next time. Bye-bye.